Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I am going to go over the solution to this question that was on a grade 11 chemistry contest. Give it a try and I'll be right back with that solution. So this question asks for the net ionic equation for the reaction between sodium carbonate and calcium chloride. So first, step one, we're going to do this in a three-step process. The first step, we need to write this equation. So we have sodium carbonate, which is in an aqueous solution, plus calcium chloride, which is also in an aqueous solution. Now this is going to be a double displacement reaction where carbonate and chloride are going to switch places. So we're going to end up with sodium chloride, which is NaCl. Plus, we're also going to end up with calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3. Now the question becomes, are these aqueous solutions or have they formed a precipitate? So to figure that out, we have to look at our solubility table. All right, so here's our solubility table. Now first, if we look at sodium chloride, here's our chlorine anion. And it is highly soluble with most cations. It's low soluble with these ones, but notice we don't see sodium anywhere over here. So because it has a high solubility, it will easily dissolve in water and it will remain an aqueous solution. Well, what about calcium carbonate? So if we look over here for carbonate right here, it is highly soluble with anything from group one, so our alkali metals and ammonium. Otherwise, it has a low solubility. Now calcium is not an alkali metal. It's in group two, not group one. It's an alkaline earth metal. So this is going to be low solubility. So it's going to precipitate out as a solid. So now that we've determined the states of our product, we also need to balance this equation. So here we have two sodium atoms, whereas here we only have one. So let's put a two here. All right, and then here we have two chlorines, two chlorines, one calcium, one calcium, one carbonate polyatomic ion, and over here one carbonate. So now it's balanced. So we can move on to step two, which is to write the total ionic equation. So we're gonna split up anything that is in an aqueous solution into its ions. So start with sodium. So we have two sodiums, each with a charge of plus one. Then we have one carbonate, each with a charge of negative two. We have one calcium, which has a charge of positive two, and two chlorines, each having a charge of negative one. On our right side of the equation, Sodium chloride is aqueous, so we're going to uh, split that up. So we have two sodiums, each with a charge of plus one. We have two chlorines, each with a charge of negative one. And then plus, we still have this calcium carbonate, but I'm not going to uh, split this. I'm not going to dissociate it because it is precipitated into a solid. It is not dissolved in water anymore. So I'm just going to leave that as CaCO3 solid. So now what I can do to write the net ionic equation, our final step will be to write that net ionic equation by canceling out any identical terms on the left and right side. So here we have two sodiums and here we have two sodiums. We have two chlorines and two chlorines and that's it. So our net ionic equation becomes CO3 negative two plus Ca positive two, which gives us CaCO3 as a solid, and these are both aqueous. So our answer then is D.